Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the chat core plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to manage and control everything that goes on in chat and it's got some really useful features such as message of the day, it's got messages that pop up every now and again as you can see it keeps spamming this as I've been sitting here a while and other stuff such as blocking advertising, ASCII art and bad words. So let's go ahead and check it out. If we do forward slash chats, that's going to be the main command. And as you can see, there's quite a few commands here. So if we do forward slash chat slow for maybe 10 seconds, um, this is going to cause a 10 second delay. Now, because I'm op, I am able to just spam normally. However, if I de-op myself and then try and spam, I'm going to get a message saying you cannot talk for another X amount of seconds. So while I'm de I'm going to show a couple of other features. So if I were to try and um, advertise my server, serverminer.com, hit enter, it's going to say advertising is not allowed. If I want to say spam the server with some ASCII art, that is also not going to be allowed with this plugin, which is very, very handy. So to get rid of the chat today, we can do forward slash chat slow and then zero. That's going to remove it. And then what you can also do is the chat lock command. Now, if I once again de -op myself, no one is going to be able to talk in chat apart from operators as it has been disabled. And then you would want to repeat the command in order to enable it again. Chat lock. And there we go. It has been unlocked and now everyone can talk. Another pretty handy command is the chat warn and then a message. So don't be naughty. And that's going to send a warning out to the entire server if they're all behaving badly, for example. There's only a couple of other commands, so chat spy. This is very handy in seeing what commands certain players are doing, so people are they doing game mode one when they shouldn't. That will pop up for you, uh, but as I don't have anyone else on the server, I can't demonstrate that one. And then we've got forward slash chat clear, and that's going to clear the entire chat. So another useful thing I want to demonstrate is the bad words feature. So this is pretty cool. If you have a word that contains a bad word, it's not going to block the entire thing. So if I were to type in compass, for example, that is going to be completely fine. But if I type in uh, a few letters that are in compass, it is going to censor it, it's going to mute me, and it's going to give the reason how long I've been muted for, and it's going to show the word at the end, which obviously I'm going to block out. Finally, if you make any changes in the config file, you can do chat reload to reload any of those. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, and as you can see, there is a single config.yml, and then there is a log for both the chat and the commands that performed. So if we look at the commands, for example, you can see it's only me, and I've been typing various things in here, and the time that I did that. Very handy if you want to go back and double check something. Uh, same for the chat. Then if we go into the config, this is where we can change a lot of stuff. Um, so it's created by Cranked. If we scroll down here, we've got the reload message. We've got the help message. So this is the stuff that we looked at in game. And then clear chat. Do we want this enabled? Yes or no. And then it's going to say who is it cleared by. Then we've got the same thing for the lock chat as well. Same as slow chat. And then if we scroll down a little bit, you can set uh, the delay. Uh, this is currently 500 milliseconds. And then you can do it for commands as well as for chat. Scroll down a little bit. There is anti caps as well we didn't show this but if someone were spamming entirely in caps it's going to stop that whereas if you type lol that is completely fine and then here is the blocked words so it replaces it with an asterisk and then you can obviously add your bad words here and then we've got the punishments down here so it tells you how long the reason and then uh, which word it was then we've got blocked commands so you can block certain commands it's going to give them a warning and then here is a long list of all the commands that you might not want players to do. And if we scroll down, we've got the anti-advertisement. So when we tried to advertise that server minor server, it was blocking it and bringing this message up. Then down here, we've got the message of the day, which when you join a server, it's going to tell you all this good stuff. Now, the auto broadcast is pretty handy. So you can have multiple things that get broadcasted and you can customize that. And then anti ascii art, as you can see, that gets blocked. Uh, and then you can also have custom death messages if you would like. Here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.19 it's a very handy plugin with some really awesome features you can have a look at the commands and permissions here to make sure people can do what they're meant to do but if you need a server to host it on check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time